Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, just wanted to start this video by asking you a question because you know how we are slowly getting into the end of the year, which usually means award shows and whatnot. And I know that obviously the way we vote for certain nominees and everything is very biased, which is logical. And some of you guys also might know that I like to create my own little award to kind of like get another perspective from you guys and everything. And I'm always curious to know what you guys think of the artist of the year. I'm talking slowly about boy groups here. I'm not including the girl groups, but yeah. I'm also asking you guys this opinion because if you were to ask me about not even the winner but just like nominees 17 would logically have a place there then again there are categories with logical nominees which were not long nominated so you know you know it's bad when I don't even have to name the award for you to understand what I'm talking about. You know it's bad. Anyways, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about, you know, maybe like nominees for the year. Artist of the year. Boy group wise maybe only? Yeah. Alright, also I saw this morning that they sold in pre uh, order more than what is it five five 5.2 million is that what it is 5.2 million that's crazy so anyways uh I've got the English captions on Umage Shin God of Music let's go Everything is wireless nowadays, isn't it? Uh... Dude, if music was not to be found in this world, I would be doomed. You do too, I'm sure. I cannot live without music. You know how in Switzerland we'd have that, right? Noises music too. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. They are aware that they are a lot of people's god of music, right? I hope they know this.
this is kind of healing my my inner everything. You know how they're saying that music. <laughs> You know how they say the music is uniting everyone and everything even though we don't necessarily have time to understand each other? That's what they do. You know, it's one of those arguments that people who don't understand other people listening to K-pop use a lot. It's like, why are you listening to music in a language that you don't understand? And honestly, it's an argument that stands absolutely no ground. Like, it has zero power and zero logic to back it up, but never mind. Here, I feel like they are kind of like answering to that question as well. You don't have to understand. Even if I didn't have the English captions turned on right now, which I hold captions really dear, you know, like I, I need my captions, right? But even if I didn't have them turned on, I would still have been able to receive the amount of joy that they're like trying to express here. This is communicative. Genuine happiness does not have to have a language, you know, it's universal. It's something that we share because we're freaking human. In one way of sharing this happiness or just any other you know, uh, emotion is through music. Even though the language might not be understood, the feelings are, because feelings are universal. If I were to describe this song, it would be like, I don't know how you say this in English, but like, Lime à la joie. Lime à la joie. Uh, Ode to joy. Oh my God. Don't they have a freaking album called this? Oh, uh, Ode to you they have, okay. So I'm not saying that the song sounds like this. It's just the idea, like the, the title of it, Lime à la joie. I think this is really, this is a song celebrating how music unites us all, regardless of, you know, language barrier. Now you guys know how I don't know anything about music and everything, right? But if any of you guys are, you know, artists or like playing an instrument and everything, can you guys tell me, are they really using every single note here? And also like how many freaking instruments are being used here? I really feel like this is some kind of like symphony of everything. <laughs> when they say the whole word sing in unison, it's true. Cause like they're gonna get people singing this right here all over the freaking world. That's also the power, power to unite everyone and everything. When they are singing about music, their god of music, we see them as that god of music. They are the one who are uniting us. They are the one who are like helping us celebrate all of this together. So objectively, I'm not in love with that song, you know? I feel like this is the kind of comeback of this where I will be more attached to the meaning and how it makes me feel rather than how attached I am to the song, really, if that makes sense. I don't see myself repeating it on loop and everything. This kind of song of this is kind of like, uh, a vitamin D shot, if that makes sense. It's something that from time to time I will be reaching for it because I need it in my blood. I need that positive uh, energy. I need that communicative joy that kind of like heals me from within. And I know for a fact that this is the kind of music that if it were to play on its own, it will make me feel good. And then I know that for a fact, I know that. But it's definitely not the kind of song like Heart or, or Super, which I will be replaying endlessly. I have to say though, if you look at the big picture of it, and also that will kind of like tie back to what I was uh, talking about at the beginning of the video. When you look at what they've done this year alone, the diversity, the different emotions that they have managed to express and share with people, priceless. And we are damn lucky for them to be here and sharing all of that with us. So yeah, if I were to sum it up, I would say like, this is not typically my cup of tea. I do enjoy how it makes me feel. And I love this celebration of like, how music is uniting all of us all, all around the globe. I hold the message of this very dearly, but it's true that this is not necessarily like my favorite and the one that I would go to like every day. Just really quickly. This is the music video that they filmed in, is it Budapest? They filmed this in Europe, didn't they? I vaguely remember seeing a video of DK when he was in so was it Milano? And he was talking to someone and he said that they just went to a European country. Well, Europe is waiting for its turn. Uh, we have been waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remain, you know, optimistic. There are rumors that they will come to Paris for like, you know, those arena tours or whatever. So yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.